The Secretary of State announced this week that the group leading recall efforts against State Senators Pete Lee and Brittany Pedersen have decided not to turn, its peti turn in its petitions. There now have been four failed recall attempts by re Republican groups this year. The only attempt remaining is against Senate President Leroy Garcia of Pueblo. Eric, I have a hard time even calling this recall efforts anymore because they seem just like data uh, mining or uh, collection events so that there's a greater list of names and addresses for GOP groups. Um, and nothing from even what they've reported would make me think any different. Um, but I could be being short-sighted. Is there some other effects of these recall efforts I'm missing? Yeah, there's another effect. It makes the Republican Party, which is already in shambles in this state look even worse. Uh, these things have been misguided from the get-go. A week ago, we talked about the failed Polis recall. They claimed to have 300,000 signatures. On social media, I said they probably have 35,000, if that. Uh, and I, had, I presented as much evidence for my 35,000 guests as they presented for their 300,000. They presented no evidence whatsoever. Uh, if you want to be taken seriously, you have to make serious claims. If you want to be taken seriously, you have to understand this is a serious process. Recall is an important right to be used very, very sparingly. And this, I'm not, I don't want to accuse all Republicans of this. This was a narrow faction of Republicans, unorganized, unsponsored by the party, unfunded. I don't know what their motives were. I think you're probably pretty close to it, Dominic. I think part of it was just expressing frustration, outrage. But when I look at Colorado Republicans, I keep thinking it's almost like, uh, I don't want to get carried away with the addiction metaphor, but <laughs> what do they say about an addict? You have to hit bottom before you can course correct. And if 2018 wasn't bottom for the Colorado Republican Party, I don't know what is, but apparently it wasn't bottom because they keep fumbling uh, and stumbling, and this was another one. Wendy, uh, even some in the GOP have said this has done more for the Democratic candidates that were targeted than it ever would have done for any sort of GOP energy. Uh, what do you think of that claim? I think that's absolutely true, and I think that's why we see Republican legislators now calling for recall reform. <laughs> and, you know, I think uh, they recognize that, you know, far from a few years ago with, uh, with some of the successful recalls that happened, this has just been a disaster. And, uh, you know, it has generated nothing but bad will and, you know, additional division within the Republican Party. Um, which, from my perspective, God bless them, keep doing as many recalls as you want to do. But uh, I don't foresee any of them actually being successful or generating uh, anything useful. Patty, will we only see the recall stop as long as the GOP doesn't need new names and addresses? No, because the problem is people will still just decide they're not happy and they'll start a recall effort that just will go nowhere unless maybe some of the proposals that are coming out from Jack Tate are adopted and it becomes a little harder to do it. But it just is a knee-jerk response. I do think they did manage to mine some good data doing it, but I don't even think that was the motivation. I just think it was we're having a really bad, not day, bad decade, because they're definitely hitting bottom here. <laughs> Krista, you wrote a uh, fantastic piece for the Denver Post just today, as timing would have it. What a coincidence. Uh, what do we need to know we haven't talked about? You know, I just think, I, and we're not going to recall the recall entirely, but I think we need to make some changes to it. It really needs to be a, a uh, sort of emergency out for politicians that are convicted of malfeasance, that are, that are doing bad things, and not simply because you don't like somebody's voting. I think right now it's a cynical power play to overturn elections, to call an election midterm, I say, you know what, there were plenty of bad votes this last session, extreme votes. Even polling is saying that some, you know, more than, uh, uh, that a majority, a, a small majority, thinks that the Democrats overreached this last session. So there's plenty of fodder for the next election. Let's save elections for elections. Let's make some changes to the recall. And I, I think that Jack Tate and Tom Sullivan in the legislature are going to put forth some really good proposals next session. Let's make it happen.